is going on, guys? Beretta Live back here. Never ever live at WWE and WWE action figures. And today we have a uh, sort of a different video. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you actually uh, a room tour of the uh, WWE uh, like action figure room, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'll just like briefly just go along here for just a sneak peek and then I'll get into more detail on everything. So, I'm thinking we're going to start out of the table first. Uh, sorry about the glare. The sun is really not cooperating. Uh, so, over here is just some extra play sets. We got the uh, steel cage here uh, that is not actually on the authentic skill ring. Here we have the crash kids that was recently played with. It's kind of like broken with the little steel thing out of there. It's not broken. It just fell out. Uh, yeah, crash cage. Mattel crash cage. Uh over, uh, on the outside, of course, we have the bins of figures. In this bin, we have a bunch of legends. Oh, yeah, there's Shane O'Mac. Uh, Kurt Angle, just briefly show you some. That Walgreens exclusive. Uh, Hunter Hearst, Triple H. Uh, Rey Mysterio. Might not be the biggest legend, but he's in there. And, or if they're just vintage guys like Warlord, I just throw them in the uh, gray bin there. And over here in the uh, Target, actually, cardboard box, uh, I don't know what I actually got in this uh, originally. Uh, here we got um, the a normal Elite box. Nothing, no legends are in here, nothing. Just This is just the normal Elite box. For instance, you got this fully customized head of Roman Reigns. There, well, it wasn't, that. I didn't customize that head, I just took it off and... Uh, uh, a basic reins and put it on that elite shield reins. Here we got this Harper. I have no idea what he's doing there, he, even though he's a basic, but yeah. Here we got some old Joe. Uh, ringside collectibles, Balor. AJ Styles with them custom knee pads. And I do that with like every AJ Styles I have. Here's another Styles. There's the custom knee pads again. Those are actually pretty difficult to get on that Styles, but yeah. Here we got an Enzo Amore. And yeah, I'm just going to be briefly showing you some of that stuff. Ugh, big cast. Finn Balor. Okay, guys, so that was the normal Elite box, and we're going to stick to the outside here. Here we have the a Basic box. Um, yeah, all Basics are in here. Uh, and if I didn't say here, Elites and Basics are in there, all Legends. So yeah, this is just updated, uh, just Basic figures. You got that awesome basic Ray Wyatt, JJ, uh, Jason Jordan, uh, Dolph Ziggler, get to focus, come on, Dolph Ziggler, Luke Harper, I'm amazing Luke Harper, was very happy with that battle pack, uh, this, uh, actually new Ray Mysterio that I just picked up from eBay, uh, and then Kane, yeah, just basic figures are in the uh, blue bin, so yeah. We have uh, fully, in total, we have three bins of figures. And if you look down here, we have two bins. In this one, with the white cap on it, we have uh, normal shirts, like you can see the Noe Jose shirt, uh, the uh, Cactus Jack uh, flannel, the soft t-shirt, the Tribute to the Troops shirt, Austin Aries cape. Uh, yeah, so that's that. And then here we got the other one. This one holds uh, all like the bigger vests. Like the uh, Finn Balor Spotlight Vest, Edge Entrance Vest, the Macho Man uh, little robe thing, and then also Ric Flair robe. I'll show you that. And really nice robes. Uh, and then you got some Undertaker, some Sting trench coats. Pretty awesome. That's all like the big vests. And, and then, and like the rubber big vests. And that's where those go, right under the table. And over here, we also have more play sets. We have uh, the Mattel, actually, uh, SummerSlam ring with the steel cage on top of it. We have the NXT TakeOver ring as well. Those just sit under there, and when we need them, we just take them out. And now, we are going to move into the entire, like, I guess I could call it arena. There's the Bread Live stage, fully customized. I'll get to that more in detail in a bit. Okay, over here we have uh, actually Jamie Noble uh, on commentary. I think that, yeah. Yeah, that's Jamie Noble. With Paul Heyman on commentary. I try to put most of the suit people on commentary because obviously 
usually the journalists are in suits. Uh, there's Paul Heyman and Jamie Noble. You got some three Mattel announce tables. There's the oldest one, the second oldest one, and the newest one with the new logo, which is awesome. Well, not that new anymore, but yeah. Shane O'Mac, Commissioner Attire, Renee Young there. Uh... I can't wait for the Corey Graves. I'm probably gonna replace him. With, I'm gonna probably replace Renee Young with Corey Graves when I get the basic Corey Graves. Here we got JBL and Joey Mercury at the WrestleMania table. Uh, that actually came with Shane O'Mac. Pretty cool. Uh, and then there's my uh, corporate cane. Actually, I'm really sorry about the camera. Uh, corporate cane. Uh, he just usually sits in that chair when I need him to pin or like count a pin. He just just runs in the ring, counts it, and yeah, so there he is, always sitting there. Here we got some black steel steps, and if I haven't mentioned already, we have the NXT skirt on, pretty awesome. Picked that up from WrestlingFigures.com. Uh, you got two WWE logos on each side, and while we're looking at the apron, why don't we look what's under there? We got over here, uh, we have, sorry about the camera, uh, we have the la uh, ladder, uh, ringside collectibles table, all these are ringside collectibles, we have a ringside ladder, ringside table, ringside ladder. So yeah, that's what's under the ring, uh, then I usually just throw that in there. Here we got four cameras around the ring, there's one camera, two cameras, three cameras, and... Four cameras all surrounding the ring and again my NXT thing is on so that means we have the NXT ropes the NXT turnbuckles and the NXT black mat and really quick I just want to show you a sort of life hack I use for these uh, for the uh, black mat it usually tends to get wrinkled so I just usually go along with it with a Mattel or ringside table to flatting it out just throwing it out there so it sort of made a difference, which I really enjoy. And yeah, it looks better now. So yeah, that's the ring. And I forgot to mention, uh, here I have my Diva uh, bin. Well, not bin. Sort of kind of a little container. Uh, you got Sasha Banks in there, Natalia, Alexa Bliss, uh, Lita, Bailey, uh, Stephanie Man, Nijax. Awesome Nijax figure, Asuka. Yeah, that's the Diva's container. You got two garbage cans down in there. You got the tables bin, just pretty basic tables bin, and you got the chairs bin. So yeah, there's that little corner there. And then going on the barricade, I don't have a crowd here because I usually fight put my hands there, so that would not work. They would just keep on falling. You have a casket here from WrestlingFigures.com. You got your little uh, stretcher, pretty cool. And then over here you have your ring bell, which actually works. Uh, and then you got the belt box, you got Winged Eagle, uh, WWE Championship, World Championship, United States, Intercontinental, Universal, pretty cool. And then over here you have the small accessories box. I don't know what this uh, Bray Wyatt vest is doing in here. I don't know where half of the stuff <laughs> is doing in there. But yeah, this is just like sort of a accessories box, uh, just random uh, miscellaneous stuff. You got some briefcases, money in the bank, shovel. That's for Cena only. Shovel is for John Cena only. Um, uh, if you see what I did there, comment down below if you saw what I did there. John Cena shovel only. Uh, okay, there's the accessory box. And here you got just some steel steps that I just threw over there because they don't match the NXT skirt. And as I said or previous in the video, uh, we will get to the Bread Alive stage. Hold on one sec. There you got some accessories down there, some cinder blocks and more just kind of concrete blocks. Here is the Bread Alive stage, fully decked out. There we have my uh, favorite show, SmackDown Live. Uh, even though there's not the live, but yeah, SmackDown. You got my little uh, paper thing that I made. It says WWE Bread Alive Wrestling, 205 Live, SmackDown Live, and Raw with some Raw and SmackDown Live Superstars. And yes, I do see that John Cena right there. I need to move him over there. Uh, I need to reprint that. I just recognized that, actually. Uh, there we got the two WWE NXT TakeOver Series tube men sitting up on the uh, stage. There you got the WWE logo. And then this is just your normal Mattel stage. I can't wait for them to update it as well. Here we got my custom flag just hanging out there. Uh, here we got actually the new uh, Slammy Award Anarchy. Uh, 
it's pretty nice. You got some breakaway uh, little door there, just like you got over here on the stage. It's, oh man, that camera's not really focusing. Uh, it's a Slammy Award with a pretty nice uh, printing there, and then you got your little podium with two Slammys on it, and the podium is blue, which is very nice. Uh, top right to go uh, see the review on this, actually. It's a really good review. And there you have the Budios uh, box that I kept, because it's that awesome. Love it. And now we're finally going to move backstage. Uh, backstage, nothing really that exciting. Uh, here you got the back of the entrance stage, actually. There's the Raw. You can swap them, swap them around. So if my favorite uh, show turns out to be Raw someday, then I just flip it around. Here we got some more just random accessories, a boogeyman, Jack's clock, uh, two little uh, steel steps, uh, some weightlifting set, a light, and yeah, sorry about the noise in the background as well. Here we got four actually Mattel ladders. I really like the ringside ladders because like they're, they're more fun to play with because they snap in half actually. These actually do not snap in half, so I don't really enjoy playing with those ladders. That's why they're backstage. There you got a pallet, came with Curtis X on Triple H. Uh, you got two, I mean, uh, actually three little black dumbbells there. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, containers, bins, whatever. And then you got the Universal Championship, or w, or whatever championship, display uh, little case there. Pretty cool. And then here you got your WWE uh, interview area. Pretty nice, pretty basic. I also did a review on that on my channel. Go check it out. You got the APA door. And I call that the entrance way to the uh, backstage because it opens and it closes. And then I just throw it right behind this little breakaway mesh net there. And here you got the uh, King of the Ring uh, breakaway glass that came with Shane McMahon, ringside exclusive. Bray Wyatt, a uh, little rocking chair, and then a wheelchair there. And I took that SummerSlam little backward drop. If you're wondering where that came from, I got it out of the Finn Balor Elite. Uh, SummerSlam Heritage Elite Series, yeah. So I just threw it there as another interview area, you know. And here you got a punching bag, which actually breaks in half. Uh, I also did a review on this on my channel. I don't know if I deleted it because it was a really old video. But yeah, if you guys can find it, definitely check that out. And then here you got some more, just more uh, ex ex oh, exercising little things there. And then you actually have a mirror, and you can see me. Uh, which w The mirror actually works. You could actually see a figure in it. But yeah, and then there you have another interview area there. I gotta say, this is my favorite interview area because I've got the lights here. And it has more detail in the backdrop with all like their little ridges there. And then here you have another interview area. This one's sort of basic. I, I don't know if this is a Jack's interview area because the glass breaks away. But I don't really know. It reminded me of the barber shop uh, uh, act there, which was uh, absolutely legendary. But yeah. Uh, and I think we have finished this video. Okay, guys, so that has been the Brett O'Live WWE Action Figure Room Tour. If you guys enjoyed this video, yeah, definitely check out some of my others to see uh, more in-depth on all this stuff in uh, other videos. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, like, comment, share, and I'll see you next time. Brett O'Live is out.